everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Tuesday, October the 29th. And today I'm just going to pick a general card to see what we can be focusing on on Tuesday. So let's just see. And I'm picking a card from the lovely Archangel deck. And this card is the card of sensitivity. And it's Archangel Haniel's card. And it's interesting that we were talking about joy and Archangel Haniel is very much a messenger or a harbinger or a creator of joy within us. And the card says, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honour yourself and your feelings. So I want to talk about some of the anxieties people have been feeling because a lot of people have been saying to me that they've felt quite anxious recently and then that that anxiety sort of tailed off last week and turned into a sort of flatness, almost a depressive feeling. Um, I just want to remind everyone that those feelings are not always yours, that sometimes you're just picking up on the anxiety that's generally um, around because of what's being created, what's being fought out at the moment in terms of this polarity and, um, and which way we are going to end up going in terms of our decision, our unconscious decision about the destiny of this planet or of how we live on this planet. And um, I just want really for everyone to remember that if you do feel overwhelmed by any of it or you just need to be quiet or you don't understand it even, just take the time today to really be gentle with yourself and to Go back into that feeling of, okay, how can I connect with joy? How can I reconnect with joy? How can I clear this from my energy and get back into a place where I feel what more of what I truly am, which is a joyful, creative being? So that's the main message for Tuesday. And um, I'm going to pick a card from the Secret Language of Colour cards and um, uh, deck. And I'm going to ask... What is it that we can do to really help us to deal with our sensitivity on Tuesday if we are aware more of the energies of the planet and the energies of others um, in a way that doesn't serve us than we are of our own true essence? Experience peace and calm. So really it, um, it does kind of affirm the original idea that if we need to withdraw, we should just go somewhere, be quiet, reconnect with that peace and the calm that we know how to find just in meditation. And if your mind can't be still enough to meditate, then don't try to still it. Just sit quietly. Just take yourself away from everything. Just put some quiet music on and just sit for 10 minutes or so until you re-establish that feeling of peace and calm within you. I also find that sometimes just lying flat on the floor um, in you know that really, really simple yogic position, Shivasana, just lying on the back with the arms either side facing upwards until things just calm down completely. It's just a really, really peaceful way to get back into um, center and balance. Right, so that's it for Tuesday, everyone. I will be back tomorrow for another angel hug. And if you'd like to book a reading or you'd like to book a session to do some energy clearing or to have some psychic and intuitive development, mentoring and coaching or anything else, really, if you'd like to learn how to clear your energy properly, get really grounded, how to charge your crystals very powerfully and dynamically, um, anything at all to do with energy and really, really becoming more aligned with the most positive aspect of how to generate and utilize the energy that we are able to access through a connection with the divine, powerful and dynamic connection with the divine. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it, all of that? But if you are interested in any of that, please click on one of the links below the video and um, let me know. I always forget to mention that, but that's an ongoing thing. And um, please, obviously, uh, continue to share your thoughts on the videos and continue to share the videos. I really appreciate that. And I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Bye.